So in today's video, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing an unboxing, first impressions, clean with me and review of the new IKEA cleaning products. Now I'm not sure how long these products have been out. They are new to me. I only saw them the last, second last time I went to IKEA and of course I had to pick them up and test them out for my channel. I'll leave timestamps down below for the key points in this video. So if you want to jump straight through to the clean with me or my final thoughts, you can do that. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video and let's see what I think about the IKEA cleaning products. So straight out of the box you can see that the set comes with a telescopic handle which fits all of the attachments. It comes with a mop head which has velcro attached microfiber mop pad. The mop head also allows use for disposable wet floor wipes and dry floor sweeping wipes. The set also includes a squeegee with a microfiber wash pad. A duster with two dusting attachments, microfiber and a fluffy dusting attachment. A bathroom scouring mitt that also can be used on an attachment that fits the telescopic wand. And a stiff bristled scrubbing brush. Now, as per absolutely everything that comes from Ikea, it has come with a ridiculous amount of tags. So first thing is to cut off all the product tags because they are just going to get in the way of any cleaning. Now ordinarily I would always wash any cleaning cloths before the first use but for the sake of testing this I just went straight ahead and put them into a test use. Now I'm going to share a more detailed first impressions at the end of this video, but straight up I can tell that this particular duster is a little bit too flimsy and too flexible for my liking. You can see how much it bends and it doesn't really hold its shape and it doesn't have enough ability to apply any good amount of pressure. I also think that with the telescopic wand and even just on the handle by itself it's very long and quite cumbersome to get in and around if you wanted to dust maybe delicate things or smaller items. I think it would be great for dusting really high bookshelves or anything that is up high and I think it would be particularly good for dusting say big mirrors or windows before you want to clean them to get the dust off them and I think it would also be good for dusting down walls which can get surprisingly dusty particularly if you have an inside dryer that is not vented externally. Now on that same dusting attachment which you can use either on its own or added to the telescopic wand to give you greater reach you can also put a microfiber cloth cover I was kind of at a bit of a loss as to what to use this for as opposed to the big fluffy duster but I thought maybe the air conditioning vents. Again it just didn't have enough like stiffness to be able to put any serious pressure to be able to do a good job of dusting. 
I did an okay job at dusting around some things like the bookcase that I used for a pantry but all in all these were a bit yeah neither here nor there so moving on to the floor mop which I have the greatest hopes for I don't always use my regular floor mop to just mop the floors I also use it to as you can see dust over big windows I also use them to wet mop my windows and it cuts cleaning significantly I thought of you as a friend who can't let go But when you left I could feel it grow Like a body of gets a big thumbs up. That gets a big thumbs up for me. And I think that you can tell by the fact that I continued using the floor mop to clean the windows after I had done my little test patch. It, that's enough to show that I really enjoyed using it. Next up we have the squeegee which I know you're not really particularly supposed to use the squeegee to clean the mirror but since there were no cleaning cloths included in this cleaning kit the microfiber strip on the edge of the squeegee was the closest thing that I had available to give this mirror a clean. I also just wanted to test out how the microfiber little pad went with cleaning things like off glass, which you would be using it for given that it is attached to a squeegee. Now I just wanted to quickly show you my current favorite duster which is the pledge grab it duster and I love the fact that it has an articulated head which makes it so so easy to be able to put it into any position and then to be able to also have enough pressure to give it a good dust it's small enough to get in and around small things but it's also big enough on its telescopic handle to be able to handle the high things so I'm definitely going to stick with my pledge grab it duster for all the dusting around the house Next up in the IKEA kit was another attachment that you could put onto the telescopic handle and it had a little scouring mitt that you could use individually on its own or attached on the Velcro to the telescopic handle. It also came with a stiff bristled brush which also fits the multi-purpose handle. I think honestly the bristles on this brush are just too stiff to be of any really good cleaning use in my opinion. Next up we are testing the floor mop for mopping the floor. It already did a great job on the windows and I was really impressed with it and on the floors it was no different. It was absolutely perfect. I really love how the pivot head is it's loose enough to be able to pivot around easily and it's not stiff but it's not so loose that when you push the mop forwards and backwards that the mop head flips up which some cheaper mops can do. The microfiber pad moved really nicely over the floors and as you can see I got a little bit carried away and just continued doing it because it was such a good user experience. Loved using the mop, definitely my favourite. This little guy, not so much. As I mentioned before, the bristles are very, very stiff, which makes it really tricky to get a good clean with. When they're too stiff, it just doesn't clean well. I find that bristle brushes that have a little bit of flexibility provide a much better cleaning finish. Now we're moving into the bathroom to test out the cleaning products in there. And we are starting off with that little scrubby mitt pad that velcros onto the telescopic handle and I found that this was really good for cleaning the bathroom. I would have loved if it was a little bit bigger. The shape of the pad I think rather than being that circular rounded shape I think it would have been much better if it was in a rectangle shape, a triangle shape or in a diamond shape so it can get into all of the corners that are in the bathroom. The reason I love this one is because it's got a swivel head so you can use it this way but you can also use it this way whereas the other one is fixed so you can only use it like on the short side up and down which doesn't give you the ability to clean the biggest surface area at 
any one time, which is what I love about this. I also love that this is a scouring pad and it's not bristles. I think the IKEA one, the bristles are too stiff to be able to really work effectively. They need to come out with either a scouring pad like this one or make the bristles softer and more flexible. I also, as I mentioned before, I think that square or triangular edged cleaning things are much more practical than that oval or rounded edge because it just doesn't let you get into the nooks and crannies. So first impressions after using this, it was just as I thought. I would definitely prefer if it could swivel and pivot so that you could use it not only like this, but also if it could be flipped and twisted like that so you can go up and down with that bigger surface area. It's quite small, which is good. It does get into like the smaller size, like the small panels, but I think I prefer a bigger size. So definitely something like this. And I mean, you could use the floor cleaning mat, but I think something like this, which is a little bit more bathroom suited would be good. So if they came up with a pad like this, but in this size, I think that would be fabulous. And also just like this one has the pivot head. So you can do it this way, but also this way. Now to try out the bristle brush attachments. And I think this is definitely gonna be a case of the bristles being too stiff. I'll just give it a clean from out here. Let's just see how we go. Yeah, I can just tell from that, it's not getting into the cleaning. This might be more for like outdoor tiles or something, but it's of no use whatsoever. Like that's just skipping over the majority of it. It's not giving enough flexibility for it to be able to lay flat against. No, I don't like that at all. Plus the sound and the feel of it, it is horrible. No, waste of time. This is definitely not my pick of tool attachments, unless it was for maybe scrubbing outdoor tiles. This one is also actually not that easy to get on and off. I'm really struggling to get that off and I don't want to be putting my hands all over a filthy brush trying to get a mop attachment off. Oh, this is horrible. Ugh. Finally managed to wrestle it off. That is a big no. This one gets a big no from me. See how much more surface area that cleans so quickly when you have something that can pivot not only that way, but that way. And it's just that little bit bigger. It just cuts your cleaning by like 10. So this one is much better, but because it is intended for a floor swiffer, a swiffer sweeping type situation, it does have these holes, so I would not, would not in, under any circumstances advise putting it in the shower and getting water in here. Once water's in there, it's going to go moldy for sure. So I definitely, as much as I like the use of this in the shower and the functionality of it being able to pivot and swivel, I'm getting water everywhere here, being able to pivot and swivel, I definitely would not recommend putting that in the wet area just to avoid getting any water in there, which will definitely lead to mold. Last to test out is the squeegee. Definitely better than my Kmart squeegee. It's got a really nice edge. It is good. It does give a nice finish. And I imagine this is just if you want to do like a soapy 
wash and squeegee for your windows. Obviously I didn't need to because I had already soaked them down, but it does give a nice tight squeegee finish. So definitely rate it if you are a fan of the squeegee. Usually I just clean my bathroom, my shower, my shower screen glass and I use the dishwashing liquid hack and then I just let it, after I've rinsed it, I just let it to air dry so I don't usually have to squeegee it down. But if you're a fan of using the squeegee, this one is a good one. It's good, it's got the handheld option and you can put it on the telescopic handle as well, which I think would be good if you want to clean your outdoor windows or anything like that. So now that I've got, oh dishwasher, now I've gone and put these through their paces, I'm going to pop them through the wash and see how they wash up because that is definitely an important part of considering cleaning products, how they clean and how they come up after a wash. So guys, now we are done with the cleaning section. It is now time for the review of the IKEA Peprig cleaning tool set. Now for my final thoughts from this set, I think there were some pieces that were great, fabulous cleaning tools, well worth the price. Some were like neither here nor there. And there was that one that was just, in my opinion, a total waste of time and money. With that being said, one first impression that I did have was that there were no cleaning cloths included in this cleaning tool set. So I know that there are cleaning cloths available and a few other things, I think. So I'm going to jump on the IKEA website. I do have a return to make to IKEA. So I might pop by and see what else they have in their line. I know that the pieces that I saw were really great prices and they all coordinate and everything can be mixed and matched with each other. The replacement pads are also a very, very good price, so definitely worth checking out. I think overall it's a really well-priced cleaning line. For me, the definite star of the set is definitely this telescopic mop handle. I love the fact that it's got a really sturdy telescopic mechanism. You can make it any length you want, and it is a very sturdy mechanism, not like those twist ones. This one is not going to be slipping in or out. Also, as I mentioned before, I like that it has got a pivoting head so you can use it in multi-direction. My next favorite item was definitely this little bathroom scrubby pad. It is Velcro removable. It does have an elastic strap so you can use it to wash around the vanity or the taps, faucets, all those kind of things. It's got a bit of a scouring and microfiber alternating little strips. So I think this is really good for cleaning the bathroom. I love that it just Velcros on and off. Really easy to just throw in the wash once you're done and to clip on and off with this attachment. The squeegee was another thing that I really did enjoy. I love again the fact that it is just a microfiber cloth that it is easily removable, Velcro on and off. And I like the fact that it's a really sturdy squeegee. Like some you get when you squeegee it down, it's like they've got kind of gaps or it doesn't make really good contact with the surface that you're squeegeeing. This one, no problem. And I love the fact that with the telescopic handle, it will make short work of my very big windows. Now the dusting tools, I was kind of neither here nor there about them. I did notice that after I had washed up this, it fluffed up quite considerably. So I definitely advise to wash it before using. As I mentioned before, this one I really didn't like. The bristles are just too stiff in my opinion. It might be good for doing like outdoor tiles, but I think that this cleaning kit is made and marketed for indoor cleaning use. I think it would have been much better to include this as like a scouring pad attachment or make the bristles much softer so that they're flexible enough to be able to get in and around. The two little items that I didn't use in today's video are these little organizer clips. So you attach that to the wall and then they just hold your tool attachments like so. Now I didn't use these as I am planning on creating a bit of a cleaning closet in my home. Definitely keep an eye out for that video coming soon. So guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Have a fabulous day. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.